are turned in here tonight. That is what they will be. EA Sports. It's in the game. All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. one, from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So these fighters are just a year apart with some differences in height and a similar reach. Here is Bruce Ladies Buffett. and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 158 pounds. Fighting out of Granite City, Illinois, Snape and now we produce his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, Grinton rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out for it. draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Big punch lands through the middle. Head kick. 
Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Beautiful body kick. Again, he's looking for that left, it's not there. Size there as he lands the flush knee. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. Another shot lands upstairs. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Looking to land the leg kick now. What a fantastic rusher. Great take now. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, it creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Back to the feet now. He is all about that left kick to the body. Nice. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Ooh, head kick lands is hurt. Oh, good kicks. Just missed with the left there. Effective punch there by Lee. Oh! And now he lands a combination! Sniff that one out as he blocks the kick. Barely missed on an uppercut right here on the inside. Big head kick lands. Big punch lands over the top. I was gonna call it. Oh man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. All right, close guard now. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. So there's the end of the round, the storyline over those previous five minutes. Volume takedowns, offensive wrestling. Yeah, this is an exhausting type of fight. Not only for the offensive fighter, but also for the opponent. Always being under attack, always being defensive, always reacting starts to really wear at your gas tank. It's interesting to see who is more fresh going into the next round. Let's go first. Oh, there's the head kick. Looks like there might have been a window there. Instead, it is blocked by Lee. 
very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh, beating his leg up. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Effective punch there by Lee. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush, and now you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg of his opponent. Visible damage, and you see him starting to make mistakes now in his defenses because his leg is so beat up. It's red, it's all beat up, he's limping, he's turning away. There are so many things that he is doing wrong now because of the leg damage he is taking. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Out of range with that one. It's such a fast leg Back kick. and forth we go here. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Big Paul punch land. Now he gets back to range. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some... Oh! oh! Finish now, because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Turns his hip over when he throws that kick. He's loaded up on that right hand, too. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Goes back to that left kick once again. Barney closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Whiffs on that offering. Get him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice strike. Very nice leg kick there by Lee. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Just misses with the left hook. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Nice punch, Lance. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Big punch from the clinch. Nice kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, tags him with the left, so the right hand has been there. Now he goes left hand. When you're able to fight from both sides, you become really dangerous. Oh, what a kick! Oh! Big knee to the body! Nice punch there by Lee. Started to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Just misses with the straight right. Back to the jab now, no good. Big kick land. himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. Punch over the top. Beautiful body kick. Final seconds here of round number two. Just misses with the jab. Right on the button. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Looks like the tie going into the next round. Can you take it to the 
All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, I mean, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Beautiful kick. Oh, tags him with the left. That left hand has been really effective tonight. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Ooh, big shot land. Over and over, he landed these big body kicks. And he landed the right hand there. And just misses with that big right hand. Big body kick. Try to establish that jab. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body. Really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Quick entry here. Nice single leg entry. Rotates ahead outside to a high block. <laughs> Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. All right, got to be careful playing around inside his guard. Absolutely, John. That's why you don't sit in a full guard. When you sit in a full guard, it gives these guys too many opportunities to chase submissions. And now he's jumping on a triangle. Nice, beautiful punch. Oh, an obvious one play. Hurting for certain. Here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Throws the right hand there. He got the turtle in that kick. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. That kick blocked by Lee. That one snuck in. Nice strike. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. That was lightning fast, that right hand. There's no give on that leg kick. Back and forth we go. Game of inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Just missed with the leg kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Oh, John, that was so nice. What a beautiful take. Oh, look at the redness underneath that left elbow. He is badgering that left side of the body. Look at how he turned his hips into that leg kick. Oh, that right hand is on point. Trying to establish that jab once again. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, man, that could have felt good. Flush 
knee lands to the body by the taller fighter. I mean, look at the commitment to kick in this fight. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Ten seconds to go. Lee gets caught with that punch. Oh, what a fight so far. What a round it was, and how about that flying Superman punch at the end of the round? Not a lot of fighters will try it. He did, he executed. And it worked, right? No discouragement from his opponent to make him not try it. Why not try it? It's working, so why not try it again? If his opponent isn't careful, he will get knocked out and be on a highlight reel for the rest of the time. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Big kick. Him drive his shin. Oh, 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 over the top. This fight's gonna be over this season. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his corner buddy low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Well, he continues to work the body to great effect. Another kick landed there by Lee. Oh, that's a nice strike. Hey. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Able to check the high kick. Big kick lands. Just misses. Right punch is there. Good punch, Lance. Powerful leg kick, Lance. Oh, yes, it is a lost start in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. I mean, a beautiful double jab. That thing's throwing right from the chin, too. Now, DC. Oh man, he was in a single, got to a high punch. Oh. Nice big takedown. What a technique, what a takedown. Great high impact skill. You could feel the canvas reverberating here at the block. I mean, That's right there. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> it's like me running anywhere, John. <laughs> oh, <that's right. laughs> Lee's shot is blocked. Hey. Came from inches right there, Damn. boys. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Straight punch land. What a tricky head kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, good kicks there. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. It'll probably feel something like that. It has to. This guy is landing his kick with so much force. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Oh, what a punch. Big leg kick land. How about that shin? Switching stances here. Oh, Superman! Oh, oh he goes with the punch and he lands. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Can't take many of those, you better check.
crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. You've got to defend. But you can see him now start the game posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes. It started to improve. It started to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Nice punch, Landry. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. in a great performance by this young man. Come on, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched Glove. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy disappointed in their performance. All right, let's get it inside of Bruce Buffer. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 49 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.